Margarita here from The Blonde Avenue and this is my first lookbook slash how to wear. Guys, I am so excited about this video. You have no idea. I've been filming this and planning this for the longest time and I'm not going to ramble on too much because the lookbook is at the end of the video. So I'll leave in the comments down below exactly the seconds that you need to go to to see the lookbook. If you don't want to see me talk about the clothes and then you can fast forward straight down to the lookbook or if you want to see me explain the reason behind the looks and how I found these pieces then you can stick to me talking. This lookbook is all about how to wear a rock band t-shirt and this one is from Misguided, Guns N' Roses, my favorite band since childhood, and I'll be styling a few different t-shirts. I've got an Ozzy Osbourne one, Led Zeppelin, this Guns N' Roses one, and another Guns N' Roses one which I've misplaced. It's literally just walked out of my house. I'm so upset. I've been looking for it for like two days now, ever since I've done the shoot, and it's just blowing my mind. Where is this thing? Anyway, let's start looking at the pieces. The first look I put together is this kind of Madonna 80s vibe inspired short light denim look. So I'll show you the pieces right now. The band t-shirt I used for this look is this Led Zeppelin number. It's really faded and kind of worn looking, North American tour. This one is by Cotton On Body and it's super cheap retail price. It looks very vintage. I put this t-shirt together with this um, choker. I've been loving chokers obviously as has the whole world and their grandma. But anyway, I've put it together with this choker which is by Colette. I'll leave it all in details down below. And then I added this cute pair of shorts by, who are you by? I added this cute pair of shorts by Factory. They're super high-waisted and they cover the butt nicely and they're very worn and light denim, which suited the look perfectly. Also not a very high retail price. And these are by Whitner. I believe that's how you say it. And they have this beautiful little bow peep bow on the front and they are so 80s and so retro and cool. So all the colors are really faded here. Um, nude shoes with really light denim so you'll see it in the lookbook and the piece de resistance has been this jacket that I've been obsessed with recently. Check out this incredible jacket it's even got a cat head on the back. What? A cat head! It's so massive. I got it in a size large because I want it to be super, super, super big on me. I think you will love how it looks in the lookbook. I cannot wait for you to see this look. The second look I put together is the equivalent of like how to wear a band t-shirt in the office. You might not wear it in the office, but this was my way to wear it out. First of all, I used this beautiful choker, which kind of looks like um, the top of a tuxedo. It's a really smart version of a choker and it's kind of glittery and cool. Again, it's by Colette. I paired it with this Zara blazer, which has tassels on the back. Uh, you can't see it right now, but you will see it in the, in the video and it's got a tuxedo vibe. And these Zara pants, which are kind of cropped and very, very cute Bridget Bardo feel, um, cigar kind of suit pants. And I put together this look with the classic Guns N' Roses t-shirt which has gone for walkies. So I'm sure you will love this look. I put my hair up in a bun and I was good to go. This was probably my favorite look of the whole thing. Definitely my favorite look. And I also used some strappy black heels which are these Tony Biancos which I've worn my whole life all the time. They're just the perfect strappy heel. If you want one, I'll link them down below. I mean, I've got these in nude and black and that's saying something. The third look was the casual going for brunch with the girls vibe. And this look, I used the same Led Zeppelin white t-shirt. I wore this look with this DNG pair of sunglasses, which are so John Lennon and so cool. I had these rose gold ruby shoes. Did I just touch those with my face? Yuck. <laughs> to finish the look for a nice brunch kind of uh, rose gold vibe and I wore them with these ripped really low boyfriend style jeans from Supre which were a little low on me but we worked with that honey and I tied the Led Zeppelin t-shirt with a little knot in the back and the hair went up so that was the third look which was a super casual brunch vibes look. The fourth look was one of my favorites and that was using one of these long kind of strings around the neck which hang down low and this is more like a going out for drinks in the evening look with a rock t-shirt and for it I wore this Guns N' Roses metallic um, worn vintage look t-shirt. 
my trusty Tony Bianco's. They kind of have a snakeskin print, which is kind of cool as, very, as well, and very Guns N' Roses. And then I finished it with this chic leather pencil skirt, which is just the coolest look ever. I love this high-waisted pencil skirt. This pencil skirt is the best friend of my life. I adore this thing. I've worn it with so many things, but with a t-shirt, it just looks super, super cool. For the fifth look, I wore these round frames again. I'm a little bit obsessed at the moment by Oliver People. I wore this beautiful gold hardware um, necktie, which I found so, so, so cute. I love that look. I wore this boot, these boots, but this is the boot by uh, Misguided. Oh my God, I love these boots. I did them in my Misguided haul and look at that hardware. It matches the gold from the neck piece. I paired them with this Ozzy Osbourne t-shirt which I love and I'm sure you've seen on my Instagram. This one is from Misguided as well. And these awesome Zara jeans. Now these Zara jeans, you'll see them in the thing, they fit so, so well. They're supposed to give you a bum lift. Uh, my favorite jeans of all time. They are the bestest. And this was just a very casual running around, doing some errands look with a nice dark pair. Wow, that's super light, dark pair of shades. Remember, all the pieces will be down in the comments below or in my blog where you can shop the whole look. And I'm so excited for you to see all these outfits in the lookbook. So without further ado, let's go. Something I'd rather not get into Cause I can't put my life inside a 